All right, we're playing the word association game. So when you hear the word parking lot, you think what? I think of a grocery store. I don't know why. Mall. Okay. I think of a mall, I mm -hmm. think. Okay. All right, I was thinking car, but there you go. Okay, let's oh. see what the next word is going to be. <laughs> Sydney and I. <laughs> next word. The next word is library. We could probably say books. this together. Books. Books. Yes. Yep. That's for sure. Library of books. Of course you think books. Why wouldn't you? I want to show you, though, what the library really looks like now. Mm. The library now includes a wood shop with tools. No a test kitchen to make the latest recipes and so much I'm more. This is our library of things and you can check out just about anything. So what do you have? We've got a little bit of everything. We got a ukulele for the music lover. Games and toys like a kite. The card catalog now holds seeds that you can plant. This is the Richland Public Library in Columbia, South Carolina, but it's part of a national trend for American libraries. In Salt Lake City, the library has a sound booth where people can record their own albums. In Chicago, vending machines are stocked with free supplies from hygiene kits to Narcan. We have always been in the business of making people's lives better. I think that is the history of public libraries. I mean, so many cool ways for the library to change with the times. Yeah. That's how they have to survive, really. Because mm -hmm. you can get books online now mm -hmm. or in audio books or whatever. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting way to experience the library if you're going to take a book to read over there. But I mean, the whole thing, a library is a place that you come and learn something, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to open up your mind to different places mm -hmm. and different ways of thinking and different arts and different cultures. Mm -hmm. And why not do it with something that's hands-on, not that's just a book, a book plus other things. Different experiences. Way cooler, in my opinion. I love that. I Very agree. eclectic. Yeah. Now, we may not have a recording studio in our local public libraries yet, but who knows. <laughs> but I did take a quick look at the calendar for the Greensboro Public Library System, and along with story time, which I love that because yes. that is so good and interactive, there are things like how to help write your resume at our public library. Oh. So, and many other events, there's a garden event even um, as well, so, and meeting spaces. So, I, even our public library, while they may not be like as innovative as what you're seeing across right. the country, they are still innovating mm -hmm. with different things to be done. That's cool, mm -hmm. I love that. I'm glad we're in the type by storytelling, by the way, for my little kids when they were really little, and you take them to that, they loved it, mm -hmm. loved it. I have not been to a library in so long. I used to go to a public library all the time mm -hmm. growing Peaceful. up, and now I find myself more at yeah, like a Barnes and Noble or just going to a coffee shop and bringing my own book, but I need to visit a public library. Yeah. So this again. is what I'm going to say. Summer's a great time to check out that library, there you go. right? Because see what they have to offer. Beat the heat with the AC. Mm -hmm. It's free AC. I know. So right. cool. It's always Perfect. really chilly in the library too. It so that's is. a good point. Mm -hmm. Libraries are so peaceful too. All right, we'll take a break. Be right back.